So today we're gonna make a simple flashlight and battery level, level with animation support. So let's just get in. So I imported the flashlight and the material that's in my um, Discord if you wanna get it, I guess. And the animation for the flashlight as well. It's a basic animation. You can create it yourself, redesign it however you want it. It just looks like this. Uh, really not meant for first person, more like third person animation. So um, go into your BP third person. Okay, let's do FP for example. Uh, you can of course create an uh, enchanted input action. I'm just gonna raw it, raw dog it basically. So when pressing F you're gonna do something right. So we're gonna do a variable. We're gonna get that gonna do a branch when we press it so for now we're just gonna put it like this now we have to actually find the blueprint for the character that should be in mannequin animation and the abp manny that's the parent i guess and previously we set up the local motion i think so if we go back to anim graph right here so from the output pose you're gonna do Blend by bool, if I'm correct. Blend poses by bool. So if it's false, right? So the flashlight is not on. It's going to basically do the normal pose, the, the main state. But if it's true, we're gonna do the flashlight. So just go in my Discord and don't want the flashlight. So if we click this active value and compile it, you can see now it's gonna go into this pose. Except there's there's a thing that we don't really like so if we play this will happen there's no animation so it's just this we need the animation to do that it's quite simple i'm gonna do layer per bone or layer bone something layer blend per bone the base pose uh, let's just put that back here right here at the flashlight right Plug the flashlight in the blend pose. Plugged out right to through. And the blend pose, the blend pose, not the blend pose, it on the blend pose. So we basically copy of this, so just copy that shit. Is that there? Now, click on the layer blend bone something something. This should be layer setup. Just open them up. Branch filter, add a one. Now, if you go to your skeleton, uh, you can see all the bones and stuff. We're gonna do uh, not left, it was right, I think. Uh, we're gonna do cal something something right. I'm gonna do this, this bone. Just copy the name of it, just copy it. Go back and paste it in. Bone name, paste that in like that so it should be exactly bam you can see it just switched so that means if we play now i can walk and sprint and do all the motions while the arm is like that so basically what we are doing this is the default one right default local motion and it's basically blending with this flashlight animation so we're just saying okay Ignore everything else except from this bone. If that makes sense. If not, oh well. Uh, true blend uh, blend time we can set to 0 0.3. Like that, I guess. Set it back to false. Now we actually need to input the values. I'm gonna go to event graph and we're gonna get owning actor, right? Right here, where event blueprint initialize animation, right? And you can see we are already cast into the character. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cast to third person. And remember to get owning actor, target is anim instance. So, now just promote it to a variable called BP character. Or whatever we're gonna get the BP character 
get the flashlight and just plug that into the action volume. So if we go back to our BP third person, so what we're going to do if it's true? Okay, it's true. If it's uh, false, it's false. By default, it's true. So it's gonna. So by default, it's false. So this should be true. The false, false should be true. The true should be uh, false. So if you, for example, click it, you can see it brings well, goes back. You can see it's kind of smooth as well. You can make it a little bit smoother, I think. Going back, make it 0.5, 0.5. Well, I don't know if it's going to work like that. We'll see how it goes. You can see it's a little bit smoother now. So it goes up and it goes down. Really, really simple. So I'm gonna keep it as 0 0.30, 0 0.4, I think. No, 0.4. 35 so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to viewport select the mesh and add the static mesh and that's gonna be a flash light like that and we are going to get the flashlight you can get it in my discord i guess like that now what we need we need the pattern socket as you can see there's a lot of them so we have to Find our skeleton, just find your skeleton or just select your mesh, uh, character's mesh, sorry, your mesh, right, and you can just search it up right here, it should be like that. Now just find hand, and that should be right hand, right, right click on it, add the socket, we name the socket as flash light, and for the socket, basically add at the preview asset of the flashlight that we have like that now let's search the flashlight click on the flashlight and basically you can actually preview animation like this uh, of course this animation isn't perfect um, you can see the um, what you call it you can see the fingers aren't really lined up so let's just rotate it so let's put it so basically just try to put it into his hand just like that i think that's gonna be okay now just uh basically copy the socket name go back to your third person uh, click on the flashlight parent socket Click on this one, pull, uh, plug the name in, flashlight, and it should automatically attach it to the flashlight. Now go to visibility, and set it to polish. Or actually no, never mind, you don't have to do that. Uh, we're gonna add a spotlight, so add the spotlight to the flashlight, not to the mesh, to the flashlight. And this will be the spotlight. So, what are we gonna do? It's basically so you can go to these three dots and set real time and click on it basically, and it's gonna stop all the animation basically. Uh, now, I'm gonna try my best. It's not gonna be realistic, it's quite up to you. This is probably not the best tutorial to make everything realistic. So something like this, let's make it so get the ray this can stay. Let's make the inner cone a little bit and the outer cone like that. Inner cone, let's do 15, maybe 10. Okay. Uh, that one we are actually gonna set uh, invisible, but actually we can set all the mesh. So click on the flashlight, set invisible so now when the flashlight is on we're gonna take the flashlight set visibility to true and for the false it's going to basically be opposite very simple for now 
So if we do our F key, you can see it brings up the flashlight and it's actually in our hands. Goes back. Of course you can set all delays and stuff. What we're going to do, I basically added the blank level. Okay, so you can see, you can still see the flashlight, what I kind of don't like. So, we have to set the spotlight as well, invisible. Now, we get the spotlight. And basically plug that into the target as well. I don't know why it kind of bugs out like that. I guess we have to set it like that as well. Now it shouldn't. If you press F, you can see. If you rotate your uh, character, the flashlight of course is going to rotate. It's quite up to you where you put it. The spotlight of course. But yeah, it's really really simple. So now about the battery level. It's going to be a little bit harder. So what are we going to do? When we press F, we're going to do a timer. So we're going to do a custom event. Called uh, let's do battery timer. And we're going to set timer by event. And we are going to do custom custom event timer. And the seconds will be probably one. I'm going to set it to loop. We're going to promote the return value as well. So this will be break a battery handler. And the timer is all the logic comes in basically. So we're going to have a variable called flash light. Well, let's do current battery level. Not, and it's going to be a float as well. And we can actually categorize it and put that in in flashlight like that and let's plug this in this in as well so we're gonna set that and we're basically gonna subtract from the current batch level and then set it and we're gonna set it you could promote that probably into decrease battery like that and let's decrease it by one before we actually do it we need a branch, so we're gonna get the branch and we're gonna do a node boolean, so not condition. So we're gonna get the current battery level. And if it's less than or equal to, I think that no, that's greater than should. If it's less than or equal to zero, so if it's not, okay. Okay, cool. Go on, do, do the thing, do the thing. So you can do print. So we can actually see it. Um, now, of course, the time can be adjusted if you want to. And when it's on, we basically call the battery timer. When you plug it off, we're going to get the brake handler and clear and invalidate timer by handle. Okay. So if you press F, nothing happens. You know why? Because we didn't actually set the current battery level. Let's set it to 100. So if we play, you can see every second it goes down by 1. And if we stop it, it stops. It's quite simple, I think. Uh, and if we set the timer to 0 point, uh, 0 0.1, for example, that's really, really fast. And if we play, you can see it goes down a lot faster. Of course, you can stop it, you can plug it back on, and if you hit zero, nothing happens. We want the flashlight to actually stop. So, if it's false right here, we are going to set the batch level to zero, right? just in case. You don't have to put it on I me, mean, just in case. And we are going to put the flashlight to false and basically set all of these values so set it in vi uh, uh, visible visibility sorry to false and clear the handle so if I play and when it hits zero it should basically so bam 
And if I try, you can see it's trying his best now. He's try, it's trying his best. What you can do, you can uh, before right here. Um, when you press save and the condition is false, what we can do, we can check one thing. We can have a branch, right? And if it's true, put that and do a notebook and basically check if the current batch level is less than or equal to zero. So if there is any battery left basically. So like that. So now if we play now there shouldn't be any glitches or any lights when you try to uh, equip it basically. Right now I'm pressing F and nothing is happening because we don't have any power. Uh, so that's basically it. It was really really simple. The animations suck I know. It was really fast, I made it really fast.